Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, there is no higher honour to bestow upon a servant of the Collingwood Football Club than life membership. Our life, member, uh, life members' requirements are more stringent than any other club in the AFL. You have to have been a servant of the club for a decade. You have had to have won a best and fairest or been a member of a premiership side or provided exemplary service over a long period of time. And tonight we elevate four Collingwood people, great Collingwood people, to life membership. The first one tonight is a man who has dedicated his life to business, philanthropy and the Collingwood Football Club. John Laidlaw has been one of the truly great Collingwood people for more than 40 years. He's one of Australia's most successful businessmen and, as I mentioned, one of its greatest philanthropists. John built his family company, Yakka, into the most popular workwear brand in the country and one of the largest clothing suppliers in the Southern Hemisphere. And of course, we all remember it was Yakka that was the first sponsorship on our famous black and white stripes back in the 70s, where it stayed there from 1977 to 1985 and was a feature in David Williamson's famous film, The Club. I also know firsthand because uh, John's business had a, uh, his plant was out in Broadmeadows, in King William Street in Broadmeadows, and I don't think there's many people who have put more dinners on the table of working class people than John Laidlaw through his wit and his success as a businessman. But today we come together to celebrate his time as a Collingwood man. Earlier this year, in fact a couple of weeks ago, the Government of Australia, the people of Australia saw fit to bestow upon John the AC, the Order of Australia Medal, for his life outside of our club. But tonight we give him life membership for everything he's done within our four walls. His 40-year contribution has been extraordinary, not only as a sponsor, but as a friend and a mentor and an advisor and a person who gets things happening in our club. Without him, we wouldn't have the success that is the Collingwood Football Club Foundation, the development of our Indigenous program, the Borough One program, and also the Magpie Nest program. Because of people like John, and specifically John Laidlaw, tonight 300 people who are homeless are not. They sleep under our roofs. The Indigenous program has been absolutely championed by John Laidlaw. Over the past five years, our Borough One program has been able to support 25 young Indigenous men and women in traineeships, 45 others supported in full-time employment. And people may not be aware of this, but the Collingwood Football Club is the only club in the AFL to have a full-time Indigenous programs manager. And that employee gets in and helps with our cultural awareness, but makes these things work in the society. And that is directly because of John's stewardship. His support for motor neurone disease and research, and the way he cares for his wonderful wife, Betty, who suffers from motor neurone is simply inspirational to anyone who's had the pleasure of being in his company. In support of Neil Danaher and his cause has been magnificent as well. He doesn't seek the limelight. In fact, he asked if he would not be mentioned at any stage for his philanthropy at the Collingwood Football Club. I'm sorry, John, I'm going to embarrass you tonight again, mate, because you're a wonderful man and it gives me the greatest of pleasures to announce tonight the promulgation of John Laidlaw as a Collingwood Life member. all those kind words, Eddie, uh, as he mentioned, uh, all this started, uh, the Association of Collingwood in 1977 when we sponsored the club for those days 75,000 a year, Gary, and uh, <laughs> at CPI increases, so, uh, but we went for just on 10 years and then we had a, uh, a break from it, but we still were associated with the club every year and thoroughly enjoyed it. Then came this uh, program that uh, Eddie just touched on, the, uh, the Indigenous, which is uh, close to my heart. Hard Yaka is an Aboriginal name for hard work, so we reckon we owed them something over the years, apart from everything else that they do. And that was terrific. And then the, I was very interested in the other program they've had, which once again Eddie had just mentioned, with this housing program, which started with a couple of people, Heloise, got the thing going initially with good, uh, sincere funding and uh, I got very involved in that too and I continue to do and I've done it for ten, uh, eight years now I think, Peter, and uh, I'll continue on while I'm still around. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, could I take the opportunity to say congratulations to Eddie 
for uh, the extension of three years and the uh, vitality that he provides to this club is enormous and plus the vision. I think the vision of from Victoria Park to what's down the road there and what's, what's here, I think he's, we're very lucky to have a president of his calibre. Thanks very much. And I must say, I'm very proud to be a life member. It's a rarefied atmosphere, all these other guys. So I forgot to, I was made a patron. I didn't think it'd get any better than that, but a, a life member, bloody hell. <laughs>